Hey guys, welcome to Blenny Alerts. Today I'll be teaching you how to draw this foot and also how to sew it on your shirt. So I'll be teaching you how to make these patches, this beautiful design on your shirt. So please stay till the end of this video. Do not skip any part. If you have viewed my channel for the very first time or you have been viewing my channel, you have been watching my video, you have been benefiting, please go and click on the subscribe button please go and click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell it is totally free also share this link the video link with others so that they can benefit also and drop your comment in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up up so please go and subscribe if you have not subscribed so this is the shirt i'm going to use and the i've already drawn this so but i'm going to show you how to make yours also i did mine with my hands so i'm going to teach you how to do that so i'll be using this brighter satin for the design so i'll be using this brighter satin for the design you can use ankara fabric for your design it doesn't really matter it depends on you whichever fabric you decide to use it all depends on you so this for this i'll just go ahead and draw circle so you can use cover of any container to draw your circle you can use split it all depends on you but i'm using a free hand so i'll just go ahead and draw my circle i've <clears throat> done that i've done that now so you go ahead at this point here as a little you go down a little then you have to just slant it a little to meet the up as shown in the video just do that to your circle so just a little slant there so at this point you are just going to curve it around the circle then you are going to bend it as if you are drawing a bean a beans a bean or maybe you are drawing a kidney so just go ahead and do that shape draw that shape as shown in the video just go ahead and do that okay so you try to um, smoothen the edges. You try to make sure that the curves are not too sharp. So after doing that, at this point also, you just go ahead and also trim off a little to meet the bottom part. Then also it seems mine is too sharp at that point. So you can make your own not as sharp as mine. So you go ahead and clean off the unnecessary parts so i've went out to do that and i'm trying to trace it well so that it will really look nice so when you have gotten your desired shape you can go ahead and draw the fingers so the toes that is the toes you are going to go ahead and draw the toes so that's the smallest tool so i went ahead to draw the big tool so that it would guide me to draw the other one so this is a very big circle then the other one is smaller then smaller then smaller then it's all and the fifth one the smallest so you can see that the big one guided me on how to draw the other one so you can use any round cover you can use cover bottle to do that all right so to draw the shape of the love inside just draw a circle also and you have to bisect it that is draw a straight line at the midpoint of the circle so just go ahead go down a little in the circle and shape it as shown in the video if you follow this video carefully you'll be able to make yours you'll be able to draw yours so i went ahead to slant it down to meet that point as shown in the video i did it this way and i went ahead to clean off the lines that are not really necessary so look at the one i want i have drawn out of camera so I, i'm just placing my gum stay on it so go ahead and place your gum stay on it so we're going to trace it on the gum stay can you see i know you not see it perfectly because it's video so you that is doing when you are doing it you will see it and you will know how to trace it so go ahead and trace it well, and that's what i'm going to do now so after that tracing it you cut it out and you ironed on the fabric on the wrong side of the fabric 
you cut out some part of the stay and iron on the fabric and you cut out the shape you can see i've cut out the um, footprint just um, the toes remaining so i'll go ahead and cut the toes off camera which i did and so you can i have a video in the in in my channel on how to cut up legs using the soldering iron so you can go ahead and i will drop the link on the description box here so you can go ahead and watch the video so you can either use soldering iron or you use uh, scissors but soldering iron would be better but if you do not have go ahead and use your scissors and at the end you can use a candle to um, burn the edges of your patches so you can see the shape of our foot is coming out and please do click on the link in the description box so that you can watch the video all right so after that we are going to iron this gum stay on the shirt that you are going to put the patches i need to put this design iron it on the shirt then before you iron it on the shirt ensure that you also trace out the foot on it first because that will serve as guideline it will be easier because you'll be following that foot to place your patches on it so i've done that so i'll go ahead and iron it on the fabric so also to help you also after you iron the gum stain on the fire on your um top you to enable the um patches not to shift you can use your hem gum to glue the the patches to the uh, um, gum stay that is ironed on the shirt so it will enable the fabric not to shift when you are sewing it look at what i was telling the other time that you need to trace the foot the design on the uh, gum stay so it will help you when placing the patches you see with that one i know is the big the big foot i have to place the big foot on it you can see how it is guiding me at so that's how i'm going to place all of them on it so the next thing we are going to do after placing your design on the shirt you can go ahead and sew the edges you can sew the edges with straight stitch zigzag stitch whichever beautiful stitch you want to use so the, the straight stitch will not really come out really beautiful but it can also come out beautiful because i'm going to use a straight stitch using a very light thread that will show how it looks like when you sew it so just for this tutorial so you can go ahead and do that to your um design look at the outcome of it it's it is really really beautiful really really beautiful so if you are new to my channel you have been watching my videos and you have not subscribed please subscribe